Hello fellow friends, welcome to the sketchbook video. Now sketchbooks are such a cool place to just draw. It's like your own visual diary of your everyday ideas. And sketchbooks are also a cool way to track how you've gotten better over the years. But before I get too into the topic today, I'm pretty hungry and I'm pretty sure this, this kid is also hungry too. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some food. Over the years, there seems to be a pressure that seems to plague artists into making their sketchbooks look like a beautiful piece of artwork. And honestly, social media really hasn't helped out a lot either because it is filled with amazing artists posting their beautiful artwork from their own sketchbooks. And it's like their sketchbooks are a beautiful art gallery, which I totally get. As an artist, as, a, as an illustrator, I just want to post the best. Why would I want to post anything less than that? And this seems to pressure beginner artists to try to do the same, only to get discouraged because their sketchbook isn't as beautiful as a 15-year illustration veteran. And I know this because this was me a couple years ago as a beginner artist. I always tried to make my sketchbooks look perfect. I always had the standard for a 15 year illustration veteran when that wasn't the case in my life. But I couldn't and still can't reach the level of my illustration heroes. So I would get discouraged, stop drawing, and then another one gets added to the pile of unfinished sketchbooks. But then I realized one day is that sketchbooks aren't supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to be a place of practice and experimentation. It should be a place, a safe place to mess up because you're just exploring ideas. I shouldn't have to hold myself to the same standard as someone who has been in the industry for a long time. Just like making this egg. I, I messed up so many times in this video trying to make a- Okay, so I lost track of what I was trying to say in that clip. Um, but hello, I, this is Editing Tim. What I was trying to say in that clip was just as I don't hold myself to the same standard to a seasoned chef, I shouldn't hold myself to the same standard to an artist that has way more experience than I do. That's basically it. I just, in that clip, I just kept talking about the egg and then it led to nowhere. So I'm just here to clean that up, goodbye. Our sketchbooks should be a place of fun, a place of experimentation, and a place of practice. And if a sketchbook is not that place to do those things, then how can we get better? How can artists improve on their craft? And there's no better place than in our own personal journal or our own personal sketchbook. Start using your sketchbook as a place of practice. Start using it for fun and start using it to experiment with different mediums, different styles, or different shapes. And you start to realize this and practice this, your sketchbooks are gonna be complete. You're gonna start building piles and piles of completed sketchbooks where you can track your improvement over time. And it's just gonna be really encouraging for your artistic journey. Now I'm gonna eat this imperfect egg. Yep. It's overcooked <coughs> and a little over spicy, <coughs> but at least I tried and I'm happy that I did it. I, in fact, was not happy that I did it because this egg tasted pretty bad. Like I said before, it was overcooked and it was weirdly crunchy in the wrong areas. And usually I'm not that bad of a cook. So I don't know what happened here, but all I can say is that in this clip, I am faking it. I'm definitely faking my enjoyment. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the fun. Goodbye.